Hello class, this is Mr. Kane with my daily math coach. I'm really glad to be here today and I'm going to be teaching you a strategy for addition that is called the rule of eights. And if you haven't watched the rule of nines and practiced the rule of nines, I recommend going back and taking a look at that video. That's a really great video to start with. Again, that's cool called the a rule of nines, it's make a 10 with nines. So you may want to find that one first. But let's get started today on what I call the rule of eights. Okay, let's start with a math fact here. And this one is 3 plus 8. So whenever you're adding eights in single digit addition, there is a rule that you can use that I call the rule of eights. And it's really also called make a 10. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead to the other number here, this 3, and we're going to take 2 away from that 3. Take 2 away from that 3. And 2 away from 3 is 1. So your answer is 11. How does that work? Well, let me show you. It's similar to the rule of 9s. We call it make a 10. And what you do is when you take the 2 away from your 3 and you move them over here to your 8, 8 plus 2 is the 10. You made a 10, and there's 1 left over, so 1 plus 10 is your answer, which is 11. Let me show you again with a different problem. So here we have the 8 plus 8. This is a doubles fact, and here's your 8. And if you have not memorized your doubles facts, that's okay. At this point, you can use what I call the rule of 8s. So take a look at the number that is not an 8. In this case, they're both 8s. So you can pick one of them. That's fine. And take 2 away from it. Take 2 away from your 8. 2 away from 8 is 6. So your answer is 16. And you can do it that fast if you want to know why. And again, it's because we took the 2 that we took away, the minus 2 that we took from 8. We're going to bring that over here to make a 10. And since you have 6 left over, 6 1s, 10 plus 6 is 16, which is our answer. Here's another, 8 plus 5. And if you just want to do the what first instead of the why, that's fine too. You're adding 8 and 5. So the rule is you just take 2 away from the, the number you're adding. What's 2 away from 5? Well, it's 3, right? Your answer is 13. Your answer is 13. Let's do this with a couple more. Oh, here's a tricky one. I've got 9 plus 8. So you can use the rule of 9s or the rule of 8s. But let's, since we're focusing on the rule of 8s, let's go ahead and do that. Both of them work. But we're going to take 2 away. We're going to take 2 away from our 9, which gives us 7. So our answer is 17. And the last one, we have 8 plus 6. So the rule of 8s, here's our 8. We're going to go look at the number we're adding. We're going to just take 2 away from that to give us 4, and your answer is 14. Now, once you move ahead in your addition, make a 10 is a great rule, and you can use it to, for just about every single, single-digit math fact that you're working on. I hope this was helpful. This is Mr. Kane with My Daily Math Coach. If you like these videos, there's more of them available on YouTube. Just type in My Daily Math Coach, all one word, and begin searching for the video that you're looking for. Also, you can get more additional information on our website, www.mydailymathcoach.com. So, this is Mr. Kane signing out, and I will see you in the next video.